dito kami ngayon sa drink which is um, the most treacherous ocean in the world where the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean meet. Kaya ganito kalaki ang alon at sa kahuwi na ang mga 10 knots na lang daw per hour ang laki ng swell. Mga 6 meters daw ang taas. Nanginginig na ako guys. I'll put my cold gear on and talk to you later. So, guys, si Mrs. Binja nagsusuot na ng panlamig niya. Kung todo balot yan. Ooh. Yan o. Oh. Sumisipol ang hangin. Oh, wow. Wow. This is the first island that we see. Elephant Island. It is an ice-covered mountainous island off the coast of Antarctica. It got its name from its elephant shape and the elephant seals that live there. We are out here to take pictures but the wind is so strong we have to hold tight on the rails so uh, we will not be blown off and the captain has announced not to be on the open decks for safety so we are going inside shortly We have to walk with open steps to keep our balance kasi magalaw ang barko. This is a buffet dining area but not very many people are here. Maybe they are seasick and they just stayed in their cabins. So guys, ang laki-laki ng alon. Yung mga gamit namin dito sa, sa cabin, ang state room, nagkanda hulong. Ayan. Marinig nyo din siguro ang lakas ng hangin. Mga 80 miles per hour to 110 miles per hour. Kaya, talaga experience of a lifetime ito. Periodically, the captain gives updates so we are aware of what's going on. Look how huge these waves guys are. Shortly, we will hear the captain's update. Please don't go away. It is interesting and very important. I know it's been a long 18 hours and not a lot of sleep for many of you. So I'll carry on with this update. As I say, it is reasonably important. And then uh, I won't update you again. That won't be necessary until just before noon tomorrow so that you can sleep in. Well, I think you probably guessed by now we won't be going to Admiralty Bay despite our best efforts. It wasn't for lack of trying. I'm sure you could feel the pounding of the ship as we uh, tried to tack into the swell, the zigzag, uh, to make progress. But not much success with that. So then we decided to just heave to, stick the, the nose of the ship into the swell and reduce to dead slow ahead. So that's what we've done. That is the best method to keep the ship safe in, in these conditions. 
and uh, everybody on board the most comfortable ride so right now at present where knows into the swell doing about four knots we are going in the right direction the swell is coming right down the center of Bransfield Strait that's the way that we have to go eventually so with Admiralty Bay no longer in the cards we will be going to Charlotte Bay that'll be the next objective with the swell we uh, will not be able to gain any speed until it starts to come down and the latest weather forecast has that happening approximately at midnight if that forecast were to hold true it is unlikely that we would be able to make Charlotte Bay until late tomorrow afternoon and there is a possibility we would not be able to make Charlotte Bay at all tomorrow but I will come back at 12 o'clock or just before 12 o'clock noon to give you an update on that uh, as soon as the seas go down then we build up our speed accordingly so it's virtually impossible for me to say exactly what time we will be there but certainly the possibility exists that we may not be able to get there tomorrow but we will do the best that we can throughout the night uh, the main objective of course is to keep the ship safe and to keep everyone on board comfortable and I think we've managed to do that, do that under difficult circumstances and now uh, we just have to be patient so now that I've told you all this again I won't need to bother you in the cabins with a further update until tomorrow just before noon so you can all sleep in and at that time I can be a lot more accurate with when we can expect to arrive in Charlotte Bay. So that is the situation. You're up to date and I will talk to you again tomorrow morning. Please continue to use caution when moving throughout the ship. Make use of the many handrails provided and do watch your footing at all times. And as always, since uh, 18 hours ago. Also, please use caution when opening any doors leading out onto the open decks. We will continue to have strong wind overnight and into the early morning. Thank you for your attention. We are now going into the Bransfield Strait of North Antarctic Peninsula, and the weather here is so unpredictable with strong winds and rough seas. So guys, we will be missing one scenery. Bumagal ang takbo ng ship because it's still big waves over there. Eh, parang hindi na nga nagmumove. Oh. Sabi ng kapitan, four knots na lang ito. Kaya laki ng ibinagal ng ship. Kaya we will be missing uh, the place. So, in a way, there's a lot more places there to see mas mabuti na yung safe and guys the ship is rocking you could tell by the curtains moving at saka ang kumakalabog na ano natin doon saka yung <laughs> yung mga malita natin doon baka naka ano na tumba na yun tumba na. ang ang swell kanina ng ng dagat yung wave Halos abot sa sixth floor, sixth deck na ka, ng barko. Kaya ang laki-laki talaga ng mga alon. Tingnan niyo ang, tingnan niyo ang position ni Mrs. Bidya. Oh. Tatakot yan na ano, mouth balance. At ano, dalawa pang kapit. Tapos naka-spread pa. <laughs> naka-spread pa ang paa. At uh, malakas ang, uh, ang alon. Kaya... Ano kasi dito kami sa 12th floor ng uh, 12th deck. Kaya parang fourth, uh, parang 12 stories itong amin na uh, amin cabin. Kaya ayan, tingnan niyo siya oh. Takot ma at balance. Ha, yeah, but hanggang then. dito abot ang spray. Saan? Dito sa 12th deck. Oh, ayan no? Spray ng ayan no? Mas spray ng tubig yan, no? Ayan. Ayan. Tapos, 
Sabi niya nung pagbukas ko kanina nung pagbukas ko kanina ng uh, pinto nagwi nagwiwising ang ano doon ang hangin doon sa, sa kabila ng uh, state room. Parang umuusok guys but that is water spray or mist. Please continue to follow us guys and we are hoping that the sea will be more calm soon so we will be able to share with you the Antarctic glaciers and icebergs. Bye for now guys. We'll see you later and we all be safe.